everyone. I hope you guys have a good Tuesday and I hope that your Wednesday will be even better. Today's another day of remote learning, so I hope you guys are getting those IXLs finished, uh, working on your acrostic poem, and also working on a tower summary. So I know that we haven't done tower summaries in a long time. I know some of you are over the amount than what you need, but this tower summary is mostly just to practice summarizing a book that you've read. So hopefully you've been reading. Um, I know that all of you at least have your library books at home, so hopefully you've been reading a little bit each day and um, you have a chapter book almost finished, if not finished this week, so you can do a tower summary. Um, I will be posting a video, first of all, the vocabulary video, um, for how to summarize your books. I will also be posting a little reminder of somebody wanted but so then. So hopefully that will help you to remember how to write a proper um, book tower summary. But in this video, I wanted to encourage you, I wanted to give you a challenge. So we talked a little bit about first person and second person um, accounts. So we call them first hand and second hand accounts. And that is when a first person account is when somebody has actually experienced something. Like it's happened, they experienced it, they felt it, they were there. A second hand is a account is when somebody is, is researching something. They weren't actually there. They're just researching it or they are interviewing somebody and they're learning more about it. Well, my challenge to you is you guys are going through something. You guys are living through a season, a time that is going to be in our history books for sure. And how cool would it be if you are like some of the people that we've read about and you documented what you've experienced and what you've learned and what things that you've been going through during this time. And so I've told you guys before that I am a journaler. I like to journal. I've been journaling since I was in kindergarten and I still have all those journals and they're so fun to look back at and read through and they're funny, especially when I'm younger. And then sometimes they make me cry because I think about all some of the hard times times that I've gone through and how I've come out of those things and become stronger and um, this is one of my this is actually one of my journals right now and this word right here says it's backwards for me but it's record or the verb would be to record and that's what I'm challenging you to do record your thoughts record what's going on in your life right now because someday when you get older, you may look back and be like, wow, that was a crazy time. I can't believe school ended in March. And I can't believe that Miss Hossetter had to teach us on the computer. And um, you can look back and, and remember and, and your story will be told through your own words. So I encourage you to do that. We have talked a lot about first person writing, that's what a journal is. You're writing in first person. So you're using your pronouns like I, me, my, we, us. And uh, I just encourage you to try it out. It doesn't have to be a fancy book journal like this, okay? In fact, this one is abnormally tall, but I like that. <laughs> um, it can be just a few pieces of paper that you write out your story and then you tuck it away somewhere safe. It could be a spiral bound notebook. It could be the rest of your writer's notebook. Or if you do have like a journal of some sort, then it could be something like that. But I just challenge you, write down some of your thoughts, write down your first hand account for what's going on with the coronavirus today. Have a great day, guys. Miss ya.